In this math talk, we're going to add to our understanding of exponents uh, some really, really important rules that help us to simplify powers. And so we start with the question, write 2 to the exponent 3 times 2 to the exponent 5 as a single power. Well, in order to do that, or in order to understand what's happening, I think it's a good idea to write these two uh, powers in expanded form. So 2 to the exponent 3 really means 2 times 2 times 2. That's the 2 to the exponent 3 part. And then if we were to expand the 2 to the exponent 5 part, it means, we'll just add our little multiplication here, it means that we are doing this. 2 times 2. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Well, really what we have here is a big expansion of 2's multiplied together. And let's uh, just have a quick count of those 2's. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 of them. 8 twos multiplied together. Well, if we go back to our definition of uh, exponents and powers, we say that a power is just a shorthand way for re writing repeated multiplications. In this case, 8 twos multiplied together is 2 to the exponent 8. Now, you might take a look at the original question and say, wait a second, we had a 3 and a 5 here. Is there any way to get from the 3 and the 5 to the 8? And I'm sure you've all recognized that we could have done this by saying 2 to the exponent 3 times 2 to the exponent 5 is just 2 to the exponent 3 plus 5. And that leads to our important first law which says a to the exponent m times a to the exponent n will simply be a to the exponent m plus n. In words, if you're going to describe this, you're going to say that if you have two powers with the same base, so two powers with the same base being multiplied together, keep the base the same, so we do nothing with the base and simply add the exponents. So when multiplying two powers with the same base, keep the base the same and add the exponents. Let's do some examples. Looking at these four examples, the question says write as a single power. And once again, we're keeping in mind the notion that when multiplying two powers with the same base, keep the base the same. In other words, don't do anything to that base, but add the exponents. So looking at this first example, I have 4 to the exponent 7 multiplied by 4 to the exponent 3. I keep the base the same. I do nothing with the 4, and I just add my two exponents. So the 7 plus the 3 makes a 10. Question's finished. Once again, looking at uh, part b, we have negative 5 raised to the exponent 9 multiplied by negative 5 raised to the exponent 3. Once again, keep the base the same, negative 5, and simply add the two exponents. 9 plus 3 is 12. Example c. I've thrown a bit of a curveball in here in two ways. I'm multiplying three powers together, and I also have a power that's not showing an exponent, or at least we don't see the exponent. It's there. When I don't write an exponent in, we understand that to mean a 1. So anytime you see a standalone number like a 10, a 4, a 5, with no exponent on it, you can assume that that, that exponent is a 1. Now, when I multiply all of these together, we have 10 to the exponent 1 times 10 to the exponent 8 times 10 to the exponent 15. 
things don't change. We still keep the base the same and add the exponents. 1 plus 8 plus 15 works out to a value of 24. So we have 10 to the exponent 24, which by the way is an enormous number. I always like to extend what we're doing to variables, unknowns, because the rules still apply. So if we have p to the exponent 10, p to the exponent 20, p to the exponent 30, they all have the same base. We keep the base the same as a p, and we just add 10 plus 20 plus 30 for a total of 60. And that's all there is to the law, and I'm out of time.